Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Hawashai, Bahashim, Rukakodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I want to call this lesson, but we have seen, for we have seen, but a few of his works. Let's get into the videos. Of Amarillo, Texas, needs our help trying to figure out what this strange creature is. Our uh, zoo staff the other day uh, was going back through some surveillance footage and happened to catch a still shot of an unidentified figure that was out behind the zoo itself. Michael says they don't have videos of the object, just this pic. It's just a game camera, so it was just taking still shots. And so that was the only shot we were able to capture of that particular figure. So uh, there's no pictures before, there's no pictures after. It popped up at Thompson Park in the early hours on May 21st. Nobody was in the facility, no animals were uh, impacted throughout this. And he says it's not an animal from their nearby Amarillo Zoo. We've got everything from tigers and lions to bison, and so there's nothing that we have in the zoo that would resemble any of those figures outside. Uh, it's kind of a unique thing, a unique picture that we just happened to catch. Now, city officials want help determining what it is. And the suggestions are pouring in. Whether it's from a raccoon standing on its hind legs to just an individual walking through the park. So uh, we've seen a little bit of everything in terms of comments. Until they determine what it is, the city is still taking tips to identify this UAO, or Unidentified Amarillo Object. What is this? And the more people we shared it with, the more people were like, I don't know what it is. And so it really started to raise some curiosity. And so that's where we pushed it out to the rest of our community to say, hey, help us figure out what this could be. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle. Those of us in the knowledge and the truth know that as we move closer and closer to the end, as we get closer to Armageddon, closer to the day of the Lord, we are going to see things that we've never seen before. How do we know that, right? <clears throat> well, a number of scriptures tell us this, but let's jump right into it, okay? What does Amos say about the day of the Lord, right? He said, it will be as though a man fled from a lion only to meet a bear. As though he entered his house and rest his hand on the wall only to have a snake bite him. So it's going to be calamity and chaos everywhere you go, right? Even <clears throat> Second Ezra chapter 5 verse 8 tells us even more. There shall be a confusion also in many places like it's starting to occur now. What we see it now is what the scriptures refer to as the beginning of birth pains. And the fire shall be often sent out again. That, that refers, that goes into the up and coming war and violence, right? And wild beasts shall change their places, right? That, that wolf figure, creature, animal that you saw there. There's something that we, none of us have ever seen before. But this is the, this is, this is the end here. We're approaching the end. And we're going to see more and more situations like this. As I opened up with the, with the first scripture from Ecclesiasticus, chapter 43, verse 32. And it reads, There are yet hid greater things than these be. For we have seen but a few of his works. Right? Got to keep that in mind. And even as I put this lesson together, there's so much out there. Miraculous um beings, miraculous phenomenon that Yahweh Shai has kept hid from all of us, you know, to in order to fulfill these prophecies that we're reading now. Let's get back into it. How do we know that we're going to see more lions, more animals, wild, more wild beasts, right? Didn't the Lord do this before, right? Does the scriptures tell us Yahweh Shai does not change, does he not? What did he do previously? Let's read the book of Ezekiel, chapter 5, verse 17. And it reads, so I will send upon you famine and evil beast, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Right? Cause because we got to remember, Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai, he doesn't change. Okay? 
What does Isaiah chapter 24, 17, and I'll, I'll read on down, tell us, right? It says, terror and pit and snare await you, the people of the earth. But well, it's going into the wicked people of the earth, right? Whoever flees at the sound of terror will fall into a pit. Whoever climbs out of the pit will be caught in a snare. The floodgates of heaven are open and the foundations of the earth shake. Right? We know that's talking about the end because remember, as that scripture sort of breaks down, it goes into how the earth is going to rock to and fro. Again, uh, something we've never seen before. Right? Let's get into another precept. Jeremiah tells us. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 3. It says, I will send four kinds of destroyers against them. Who is the them is referring to? The wicked, right? Declares the Lord, the sword to kill, and the dogs to drag away, and the birds, and the wild animals to devour and to destroy. Right? Let's come out of this. <clears throat> Got one more video for you, brothers. Want to make sure you brothers saw this video as well. Hold on, let me, let me pull that video up, brothers. I'm sure many of you brothers might remember this video. I had to go back and find it, right? But it ties right into the news clip um, that was that was posted six days ago. But watch this video very closely. I'll also leave the link in the description if you brothers want to go back and uh, check out this video here. I'm going to let it play. I'm really just out of my fucking mind right now. I really think I just saw what the fuck I just saw, like, and just to show y'all that I ain't, I ain't capping on no screenshot shit or editing no photos or none of that shit, I'm gonna open my fucking back door up and show y'all that the picture came from the, in the back of my fucking yard. Now, you know, this this is obviously a Jake and it's a brother. You know, what amazes me is that our people will see something like this and then stay in that particular lifestyle and then start praying. If anything, if you see something like this, you should repent and turn and seek the Lord with all thine heart. Right? Let me, let me pause this here for a second, brothers. Now, if, now, if you brothers notice, the first news... Um, first news clipping and then the video that we played here is is the creatures are extremely similar right and the first thing that should that should jump into your mind is the wisdom of solomon chapter <clears throat> chapter 8 i'm sorry wisdom of solomon chapter 11 uh verse 18 and 19 or unknown wild beasts full of rage newly created breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scents of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparks out of their eyes whereof not only the harm might dispatch them at once right but also the terrible sight utterly destroy them listen you saw how when that when that jake saw that wolf or that wolf man creature he he became extremely terrified as we move closer and closer to the end times, which we're living in now, we're living in the end times. Anyone who's in the knowledge and the truth should know that. You're going to see more and more of this, more, more and more phenomenon or, or quote unquote phenomenon. But those of us who study the scriptures, we're going to we know that this all of this is prophesied, brothers. All right. I hope that this lesson was edifying. I hope that you brothers are, are steadily and continuously building up your faith, being mentally and spiritually prepared for the end times. 
and looking forward to the our redemption and, our, and the Savior, our Savior of the house of Israel, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shalom.